Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at a bride who made a profit off her bachelorette trip. That's just my business. I'm kidding. With friends like these who need the nemonies. So much tea! Oh girl, spill it, spill it. I got my tea cup. There's nothing in it. But maybe you can fill my cup with this story. I'm glad I can spill to my Reddit community because I can't gossip about it to my family. We're your family now. <laughs> <laughs> About six months ago, the bride planned her destination bachelorette trip and charged each of the girls, 11 of them, $650 for the Airbnb. How long was that stay? Was that like a week? Cause if that's like a week, that's not so bad. But I digress. I was salty about the high cost, but it's my sister-in-law, so I sucked it up and paid her. I was also suspicious about the high as f price, so I did cross check the Airbnb listing and it checked out. Yes, this bee wanted a $2,300 a night beachfront house. That's a lot, but like, it might be fun. I am curious about how long it was for. So 11 girls, $650, I can't do that math. What's the math? I'm just hoping she tells me so I don't have to do the math. Well, today I'm chatting about wedding stuff with my brother who is marrying future sister-in-law. And he said something along the lines of, what a relief her dad paid for the Airbnb <coughs> because that would have been so expensive for your group. Okay, oh, that's news. I about <coughs> chose. I said, hey, are you sure about that? Because all 11 girls paid $650 for the house alone. Maybe run it by her. His face turned purple, so I take it he had no idea. Oh my. The audacity. Tad to the greed going on here. When I got married, I flew her out, paid for her accommodations, paid hair and makeup, paid for her bridesmaid's dress, paid transportation because she was going through a hard time. Now she has the balls to steal from me. Oh my goodness. This is like, this is oh, this, like ha, the sheer audacity of this entitled bride. And how did she think that you weren't gonna find out? I get that weddings are expensive, but don't have one if it requires stealing from your bridesmaids. I'm assuming I'm the only bridesmaid who's aware of what's going on here and not sure if I should spill to the group or just let it go. No, you're gonna need to tell people because I think that they would probably wanna know that. There is a chance her dad stepped in and paid for it after the fact and she just chose not to refund us. I'm not clear on the exact situation and want to avoid embarrassing my brother. I'm gonna need some more details. If somebody is paying for that Airbnb, you guys should be reimbursed in some way. Like the money that you gave her should also be going toward drinks or bottles or like activities or whatever. You shouldn't have to pay the $650 and then on top of that pay for like expenses. Give me my money. And for those of you who feel like $650 is a lot for a bachelorette trip, it is a lot for accommodations. It definitely is, but you don't have to go. It's optional. If someone wants you to go on a destination bachelorette trip, they want you to pay $650, just don't go if that's too expensive. It's not a big deal. It also depends on how long it is because if it's $650 for like a week stay, that's not so bad. I'm just saying. Update number one. Thanks for all the advice and support. Yes, I agree with most of you who are saying I'm morally obligated to spill the beans because $650 is not child's play. Yeah, you need to tell them. I would want to know that little tidbit of information. This is what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to talk to my brother and give him a chance to clear it up with sister-in-law before I make a scene. Okay, that's good. Because like, you know, it could be a little miscommunication, right? Wrong. We like to give people the benefit of the doubt on this channel. We don't like to be really reactive. Unless, of course, we don't have another option but to be very reactive. It's good to give people the benefit of the doubt, especially considering your brother is marrying this person. Before I make a scene, I want to understand what's really going on. For example, did daddy pay for the trip but sister-in-law decided to put that toward different wedding expenses? Things like that. That answer will determine when and how I tell the rest of the bridesmaids. I'm going to give my brother only one to two days because this trip is literally next week. Stay tuned for update number two. Oh, girl, I'm on the edge of my seats. So I I regrouped with my brother. My mom also stepped in, bypassed by my brother, and got some more info directly from her dad. Here's the tea. Oh! Glug, 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 glug. Future sister-in-law's dad did not offer to cover the cost until a few months after we all paid for the trip. 
This was after he found out the cost and was pissed that she chose a $2,300 a night house and asked us to pay. Apparently, he threatened not to pay for the wedding if she added more expenses onto the wedding party. Turns out she originally wanted it at the Maldives and he forbid her, right? Cause the Maldives is like the most expensive friggin' place to go and stay in the world. Go there for your honeymoon, babes. Don't make 11 people pay for that shit. According to my mom who chatted with him directly, he felt embarrassed when he heard about the Airbnb price and wanted to save face with my side of the family. So he he gave sister-in-law about $7,000 to cover the cost of this house. She was supposed to refund us, but obviously that never happened. Absolutely not. Oh, hell no. Oh, she's swindling you. I hate it. I hate it so much. This is where it gets good. This? This is where it gets good. My gosh. So my mom went total FBI and learned that in addition to not paying us, sister-in-law didn't put the money toward a different wedding expense either. She doesn't have it. This so where did it go? What did she spend it on? Did she just get like a new purse or something? There is currently a full-blown investigation going down between our two families right now. I have been asked by my mom not to alert the baby mamas. <laughs> Sorry, BM, like I thought maybe it could be baby mamas, but it's bridesmaids. <laughs> <laughs> Bridesmaids, just yet, until we get the last bits of info and come to a resolution with both sister-in-law and her dad. But we will tell them ASAP one way or another. The sheer audacity of this bride. You gotta be some kind of stupid to think that people aren't gonna find this out. Update number three, the plot thickens. So as this drama is all unfolding, the maid of honor who doesn't know what's going on yet is continuing her duties. We get a four paragraph text from her outlining the dress code for each night of the bachelorette per the bride's orders. Oh God, I hate, I hate the matching outfits. Oh, can I just, oh. I'm going on a bachelorette trip. My good friend's getting married. So she wanted us to all wear black on one day and she was gonna wear white, right? Like that's easy enough. Like most of us own a black bathing suit, not a big deal. But some people wanted to like wear whatever they wanted. They had like outfit plans and like they didn't necessarily want to wear black on this specific day. So we mentioned it to the bride and the bride goes, oh, well, why don't you guys just all wear nude? Nude? What? Does, does that mean that we're all going to look naked while you're wearing white? <laughs> And Vanessa is coming too, right? Because Vanessa's really good friends with the bride as well. And Vanessa is black, so does Vanessa wear brown? <laughs> Like, are we all meant to look naked? Like, it's almost worse than wearing black. It's like, okay, can we just wear black instead? <laughs> it's too late for that. Keep in mind, the bride is asking us to go all out and buy new outfits for each night of the trip. Oh, jeez. And the themes are wild. Animal print Thursday, faux fur Friday, sparkle dress Saturday, and Barbie brunch Sunday. Jeez Louise. Like, I mean, those themes do sound fun, but like, I don't know. I'm just really not a fan of everybody wearing the same color. Like, you know when you see a bachelorette party in like coordinating outfits that they're going to be out of control. <laughs> As if we're all gonna go out and buy that stuff one week before the trip or at all. Yeah, see, this is the thing is like, you gotta give people notice. Cause then like, you know, we can plan things. We can kind of like look through our closets, borrow things from each other so we don't have to buy everything. Thankfully, the bridesmaids seem to be waking up to the BS. Several of them wrote back saying they won't be able to pull together those outfits in time and flat out said it's not going to happen. Oh, period, yes, yeah, stand your ground, besties. But that is just a side story to the absolute sh show that is unfolding. My mom is very much involved now as she's paid a decent chunk of this wedding as well and does not like that the bride is throwing around thousands of dollars from her dad as well as lying to the bridal party. Imagine that, you're making all of your best friends give you a bunch of money when they don't have to, just so that you can have the bachelorette of your dreams. That is some shady shit. I would not be surprised if she didn't have a bachelorette party after all of this, because even if it's all like a benefit of the doubt kind of situation and she was planning on like, you know, treating you guys to something, because that's a possibility too, right? Like she could have put together like a chef or like paid for dinner a bunch of the nights so that you guys didn't have to pay for it and she was gonna surprise you. Like, I don't know, but just still the fact that she kept it from you is shady. She set up a meeting directly with sister-in-law to cut the BS and explain what's going on. She told sister-in-law she's going to inform the baby mamas. <laughs> bridesmaids, BM stands for bridesmaids, Charlotte, herself, unless she gets a valid answer. At this point, I'm just shoveling down popcorn waiting for the events to unfold. I will be back tonight with hopefully the final update. Update number four. Swan Ice Sculpture! 
that's what the money went to. Something that's literally going to melt and won't exist after a few hours. $7,000 for something that literally will not exist. Kind of like your marriage. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. That was mean, I'm sorry. Can you please forgive me for that? I'm sorry, I, I got a little carried away. That escalated quickly. She used the $7,000 to book a swan-shaped ice sculpture to be displayed at the reception and didn't tell anyone. Turns out her dad banned her from adding any more extras to the wedding design because it was already so expensive and unnecessary. I mean, especially considering the wedding might not even happen. At this point, you're just setting yourself up for divorce. I know that. <laughs> when he Venmoed her for the Airbnb, she thought she was being sneaky and kept it instead. She didn't even tell my brother this. He only found out that her dad decided to cover the Airbnb because those two went out for cigars one night and it came up. That's shady as hell. So that mystery is solved thanks to my mini FBI crew, but now the real questions remain. Where the hell is my $650 and how to break the news to the bridesmaids. It's showtime! Out of the kindness of her soul, my mom is giving sister-in-law 24 hours to confess to the bridesmaids and figure out how to pay us back our money. Because you know what? I did not spend $650 on some damn ice! <laughs> I have kids to feed. I have bills to pay. That's what's up, babes. It is taking everything in me not to text the bridesmaids group right now, but my mom is trying to give sister-in-law one opportunity to do the right thing. This has been a roller coaster. I don't know if anyone here is still interested. Yes, bestie. Yes, we are here for the D. I'm here ready and willing. But let me know if I should post the final outcome with the bridesmaids in the last update. We're halfway through, guys. We are not even close to being done. Okay, as promised, here is the last tea served boiling hot. This is a long update and I'm gonna try and get everything in. First, let's start with the bride's explanation to her family, myself, my mom, my brother, her fiance, and her dad. She broke down crying, saying that wedding planning has been getting to her head and she's been crushed under the pressure to have the perfect wedding. You can have a perfect wedding without a $7,000 ice sculpture, bestie. It's not true, it's bullshit. Which she felt couldn't go on without this alleged ice swan. I feel like this swan is just a metaphor for this engagement. Slow Slowly melting away as time goes on and more information comes to light. I didn't buy her sob story. After this whole incident, I think she is a delusional, controlling, attention-starving bridezilla who is using the wedding as a way to compete with other girls on Instagram. Ain't that just the truth, you know? I feel like social media has totally ruined weddings and marriages and bachelorette trips because it's like everybody wants to appear like they have the perfect relationship, that they want to just rub it in every everybody's faces. And like, I feel like that is a sign that it's not that perfect, you know? That's why you should take everything you see on social media, you should look at it with a critical eye because oftentimes them that they display to the world is the exact opposite of how it really is. By the way, her job is an influencer, if I didn't mention that yet. Oh, wow, you didn't mention that. That's helpful. That is that. That is very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> Next, let's get into the matter of the missing $7,000 and whether we're getting our money back. The sad, gut-wrenching answer, probably not. Okay, so are you still going on this bachelorette trip or what? Her dad said he has already paid the Airbnb cost once and he will not do it again. Honestly, at this point, I would not want to go on a bachelorette party with someone like this. She should like pay everybody back for that. Wait, have we just discovered the math? So the cost of the Airbnb is $2,300 per night. Three nights, three nights, $650. Hell no, that's crazy. The whole point in like splitting like a big beachfront property, like a big house with someone is so that you save costs. He said his daughter is 30 one and needs to get herself out of her own mess and figure out how to make it right. She chimed in that the 7K is gone now and asked how she would possibly pay us back with a job. Does she like not work? My brother refused to pay for her screw up. So you guys have to pay for the screw up? Absolutely not. Let's see if she feels that way if you take her to small claims. <laughs> While I love that everyone is finally forcing this B to be an adult, I would like my money back more. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get it unless she magically wins the lottery or gets a real job. Oh geez. So influencing doesn't pay well? For those that ask, there's nothing we can do legally. We all willingly paid a fixed amount and we would have to move mountains and spend more money to sue. Yeah, that's a good point. With a bunch of you, it might not be as hard. Plus, while she was incredibly shady and a terrible friend, she technically didn't do anything wrong that we could prove. Now on to the bridesmaids. After some threats from my mom, sister-in-law finally broke down and contacted the, I almost said it again, bridesmaids in our group chat. She sent a text that made my skin crawl. Ooh. Hey ladies. 
You're my bride squad, so I feel compelled to share that my dad recently offered to pay for our batch accommodations. However, being that the wedding is so expensive, I've decided to put his donation toward a wedding expense. I hope you all understand, and I can't wait to party with you all next week. I like how we are leaving out the part that the wedding expense was an ice swan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. I immediately replied back, making sure everyone knew the expense was an ice sculpture. An ice swan. <laughs> Come on, people. Many of them replied and expressed how they would have loved to use that $650 for something more important. But ultimately, no one has backed out. One of the girls started a side chat without the bride and asked if there's any chance of us getting our money back if we force sister-in-law to cancel the reservation. Sometimes with Airbnbs, they give you a couple of months to cancel, at least like a partial refund, but like not a week out. Unfortunately, since since we're only a week out, we aren't eligible for a refund. They decided to go through with the batch or else it would be a literal waste of $650. Yeah, but uh, why do you want to party with someone like that? Like that is going to be just $650 to cry and fight. <laughs> <laughs> on a beach somewhere. I mean, better to cry and fight on a beach than at home in the snow, I guess. As for myself, I'm in the same boat. I'd rather run myself over than go on this trip, but $650 is not a small amount, and I can't fathom just throwing it down the drain. I haven't made my final decision yet. If I do go, it will solely be to avoid eating the $650 plus my airfare. I will not be doing any of the planned events or outfits or contributing even $1 more. I would have my own mini vacation as best I can. I'm really upset that it seems like this crazy person is gonna get her way after all. <laughs> no! No! Please tell me there's a happy ending! No! I need closure! I crave it! Mini update. There are so many curious comments coming in, I wanted to keep you in the loop. More drama has unfolded among the bridesmaids. The side text without the bride ride popped off and we've all agreed to do the following. We will be going on the trip, but it is no longer a bachelorette trip. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. We will all be taking personal vacations with our hubbies slash significant others while staying at the property. That's what's up. Okay, and then you guys can like split it with your significant others. We were forced into this beachfront mansion plus airfare, so we're gonna make the most of it. Love that. We've all backed out of hosting and paying for the bridal shower. That sculpture, was it worth losing all of those friends, 11 of them? The bride will need to find another way to move forward if she wants to have it. We will attend as guests if she has it, and we will not be gifting anything. Mother of the bride is absolutely furious. More on this later. We're letting the bride know she needs to cancel the ice swan and give us our money back. After some more research, we doubt all of the 7K went toward the alleged swan because it doesn't seem like they cost that much. Very interesting. I won't be back for a while because I want to save my next update for after the trip. Stay tuned. Oh God, I'm just itching to find out how this went. Itching, itching. Anybody else? Of course. Final update number six, warning. This is a long one. I'm here, I'm here for the tea. I'm ready. Let me start with this. There is no ice swan. No, it can't be so. It can't. There never was an ice swan. It was all an elaborate fabrication designed to distract everyone from where the missing $7,000 actually went. Rest in peace, ice swan. Turns out there was a reason behind sister-in-law's luxury bachelorette location. Here's what happened. All the bridesmaids show up to the beachfront mansion with our significant others. Sister-in-law has already been made aware that it was no longer a bachelorette, but to our complete shock, she was still sunned that we actually meant it. I'm sorry, did we not understand the gravity of what we've just done to our friends? She arrived last in her pre-booked limo, absolutely fuming that no one else showed up to the limo meeting spot at the airport. And she deserved that. She was the only one still sticking to the original itinerary. Then she was flabbergasted that the husbands and significant others were with us. It was a comedy show at best. Oh, brother. Anyway, we went about our individual mini vacations and eventually someone realized it had been about 48 hours since anyone had seen sister-in-law. I assume she was mad and either flew home or went to stay somewhere else. Then the unthinkable unfolds. Sister-in-law rolls up the driveway in a wheelchair being pushed by two female nurses? What the actual f*** is going on? The entire group just jumped into action thinking something horrible happened. Everyone ran over to see what was going on, but the nurses ushered us away and wheeled sister-in-law into her room. At this point, I'm actually very concerned. We're all banging on her door and asking if she's okay. The nurses eventually leave and say they legally can't reveal the nature of her health issue, but assure us she's fine. 
Is this some like big elaborate ploy to make all of you feel bad for her? I call my brother and mom, but I get no answer. So I finally decide to call her mom, AKA the mother of the bride, who was furious that we took over the bachelorette party. Mother of the bride reveals what actually took place. She isn't sick. She didn't have a health issue. There was no accident. She got her boobs done. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me, man. No fucking way. That's where the seven did we decide we're getting our boobs done before or after? Cause that's, how do you suddenly have the money for a boob job? Yes, folks, you read that correctly. She had planned as part of the original itinerary to disappear for an afternoon and return with a new set of melons. <laughs> no. Uh, no, no, absolutely not, no. The location of the beachfront mansion is conveniently five minutes away from a very famous cosmetic surgeon's office. The reason she needed this giant property was not to really host 11 girls. It was to host 11 girls plus the surgery recovery nurses and personal chef she reserved for after the operation. Wow. This is so ridiculous. This Honestly, it's probably one of the craziest Bridezilla stories I've ever heard. There is so much more that we need to unpack. I honestly don't know where to begin. We got bullet points. What was her mother's knowledge involvement in all of this? What was the cost of the procedure? Guessing around $7,000. And why was it meant to be a part of the batch? That is so weird, man. That is so weird. What was the purpose of the ice swan lie? What the fuck? Will the bridesmaids, myself included, pursue legal action? I think you probably should at this point, but I mean, you did go on the trip, so I feel like you're kind of now. Where does this leave my brother? Is this lady okay mentally? Was this a horribly misplaced cry for attention? Was it an F you to the bridesmaid somehow? So many questions remain. I'm only a few hours back from this trip, so this is all the information I have right now. I was intending for this to be my final update, and I just want to say thank you for all your support, advice, bags of popcorn, and funny input. This has been a wild ride, and I'm glad I could share it with you. So far, we've had this crazy idea picked up by a news publication, multiple podcasts, and a magazine. I literally want to write a book about this experience. <laughs> And guess what? You want Charlotte Del Rey's YouTube channel now too. You made it. Way to be relevant. <laughs> I've already revealed a great deal of info to protect my brother's privacy moving forward. I think I need to step away from the updates. Oh God, I'm just itching to know. Did he go through with the wedding? Like, did he? It doesn't look like there's any updates at this point, but we're divorcing her. That is some crazy sh For those of you who are this Delulu, don't do this. Get some help. You're gonna lose all your friends. You're gonna create some serious trust issues and you're you're probably gonna lose your husband. Like I would be very, very surprised, OP, if your brother still marries this person. Because like, what the actual f is wrong with you? Honestly, sewer, sewer if you can. Get a lawyer, lawyer up. Unacceptable. I know this isn't an am I the a-hole, but that bride, she a massive gaping black hole of an a-hole. This is 